Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Girl Vana. Welcome to Vana Play State of Decay, a fairly new game on the Xbox 360 Arcade. I'm not sure if it's only for the 360 Arcade. It might be for other stuff, but this is on the Xbox 360 Arcade. As far as I know, this is a game about zombies and it's open world and people are, are comparing it to Grand Theft Auto. I don't know much about it, so we're going to press start to begin. This is the demo, just because I don't know anything about it. I don't really go out and buy things when I don't know much about it. But hey, if I like it enough, who knows? And uh, some of you guys suggested it, so let's play it. Alright, we're going to do start a new game and see what this game is all about. Hold R to accelerate, LT to break or drive, so I guess this is a driving Holy aspect shit, too. Holy shit. Hold on, I'm coming. Wow, so they just start you off. Okay, um, this guy's getting attacked by zombies. I'm gonna press X. Oh, you think they want to eat you? Very astute observation. Wow, so it's, it's, I guess it's a bush and matcher? You just keep tapping X and he just keeps smashing their skulls in with this uh, stick. Is this a black guy with an afro? Looks like it. Well, we can't just stay out here in the open, that's for damn sure. Ranger station? Ranger station. Maybe we can find oh. some help there. Alright. Everybody takes up cannibalism? See, that's that's one of the funniest things about zombie games and every and media is like no one realizes what it is. Would these people understand these are zombies? This guy's like, what? Everyone turns into cannibalism? Do they not realize these people are clearly not normal people? Yeah. Stay low and keep quiet. Maybe we can get past them without being spotted. Man, this is bloody shit. All right, so we have a very um. Uh, did I say Gears of War in the beginning? I meant I meant Grand Theft Auto if I said Gears of War. Anyways, uh, we have a very Grand Theft Auto-esque mini-map in the bottom left. Um, yeah, okay, so this is the ranger station, I guess. How do we get in here? Oh, right, why is to open doors, duh. Alright. Man, can anybody tell me what the hell is going on? What's going on is there's more of them up here than I expected. We need to sweep the rest of the cabins for survivors. But I've got injured people here I have to tend to. Okay, we'll see what we can do. We will? I appreciate it. There's a water tower out back that has a good view of the campgrounds. Might be worth your while to climb up there and have a look around first. We've got some supplies in the locker over there. Take what you need. And stay safe out there. Okay, I earned the Campbell Family Picnic. Oh, they did it old school. Yeah, a lot of times when new games would come out on the Xbox 360 Arcade, they would have you get a super easy achievement. There would be a pop-up saying you got it, and they'd be like, Oh, but you have to buy the game to get it. Um, that's okay. I'm, I'm good with not having that achievement for now. Alright, let's go to those. There's a locker over here, something that we can take some supplies from. What was he talking about? There's so many fucking updates in the middle of the map. I've joined a community. Oh, okay. So there might be different communities throughout this game. That's cool. Um, where's the stuff that I can grab? Greet Ed Jones. Is this Ed Jones? Okay. Uh, I don't really see a locker, but whatever. Oh, there we go. Um, bracket. Fitted with a metal bracket. I don't know what that's for. How do we press A to take it? Yeah. And numbs the pain but won't help serious wounds. So I guess that's your basic health item. Um, do we have a gun? No. Anything over here? Alright, so I believe he said that there's a water tower or something. So we're going to go ahead over to that but this is open world like I said so maybe right now we can do whatever we want I also heard this game changes every time you play it um, so I don't know what that means it might be like the random dungeons back in the old days of gaming so I'm not really sure oh shit I guess there's some lean lenient falling damage all right let's get up this ladder and see what we can find. This is it gonna be like Assassin's I'm Creed? Dead. Gonna take a look around. So if you hold L, it says surveying. Oh, and it looks like you can 
spot out different little locations if there's a question mark. Is this the main house? Public restroom? Is that where I am? No, it says home. Okay, um, what do we got over here? Are they all just going to be campsites? There's a cabin. That sounds cool. Another cabin. There's a building we'll want to check out. Campsites. Um, this might be the last one. And there's a truck. Ooh, another achievement already. Okay. Fair enough. Let's get down. Gunshots. Yeah. Guess we're not the only ones having a bad day. Press back to view your map. Let's do that. Are there any um, new mission opportunities? There are. So is this investigate the source of the gunshots. Now, can I place a marker? Yes, I can. Okay, we're gonna go head over there and see if we can find some zombies on the way over. I think right now, what's our inventory? Well, what does B do? Oh, so hold, pressing B activates like a stealth mode. Um, this game looks really cool. It looks like it has a potential to be amazing so far. And keep in mind, this is only a arcade game, so eat a snack for a temporary stamina boost. I need a breather. Okay, so oh, so we have a stamina meter on the left there by our mini map, that little blue meter. Still no falling damage. Help the stranger, let's do it. So it looks like this is one of those games where one bite doesn't do much to you. Press LB and Y to finish off a down foe. Alright, well let's look for an opportunity to do that because that sounds cool. See, we don't need any guns, we just need a big ass stick. Oh shit. So that's the finishing off move. Doesn't look that much different from the regular animations. Um, but I should probably use it. Holy shit, are you okay? You mean aside from being lost in the woods, attacked by psychopaths, and watching two of my best friends die? Yeah, I'm PG. Now is not the time for sarcasm. So, is it this bad everywhere? Man, I hope not. We got some survivors back at the ranger station that seem to know what's going on. But we didn't have time for orientation. Well then, let's get the hell back there. Love the idea, but uh, we got kind of volunteered to check a couple other places for survivors first. Just think of it as payback for the time that you volunteered us for the running of the bulls in Pamplona. Oh, these guys have a history. Or should I? Uh, I'll take points. Silly. Um, do, do we have a fucking other weapon than a stick? How do we go into our menu here? No. No, where is the menu? What did I- Ah, oh, shit, I just ate my painkillers. There we go. Um, is this a weapon? Um, I can't tell if that- Yeah, I guess that is a weapon. Alright. You can now switch off between Maya and Marcus. Uh, talk to Maya before starting mission. Oh, so I guess we can pick who we want to go out with us. Um, is there any other missions? Looks like we need to head back to the house. Too bad there's no actual, there's no, like, point or telling us how to get back to the house. You know, we have to, looks like we have to actually have to put a marker ourselves to have a clear-cut way to get back. But yeah, this is actually pretty cool. I really wish that I heard about this before, or, like, right when it was coming out. I... I just heard about it. I know there's an Xbox tile for it, but other than that, I didn't really hear anything about it. But I'm surprised because this game looks to be really good. Hopefully there's a lot of variance in the scenery other than just this type of woods everywhere. If not, I guess that's not a big deal. But I wonder how many different types of guns they have. I know there are going to be guns because it's said in my thing that they're, um, that I have no guns. So obviously there's a potential to get some and it wouldn't be really a zombie apocalypse game without it, would it? Alright, let's head back onto the house and see what these guys say, or have to say. What the hell? I thought you said you had survivors holed up in here. They were uh -oh. fine just a minute ago. Well, obviously not anymore. Guys, guys, come on. We gotta at least check the place. Somebody might have survived. Well, 
Let's see if he's got a wallet on him or something. What the hell, Ed? To check his ID, for Christ's sake. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought he was gone for it. Okay. Jesus. That guy was dead. I swear to God, that guy, he was dead. How the hell does that happen? It's a zombie, bro. Doesn't make sense. What are these things? Let's grab what we can and get moving. I guess all zombie apocalypse type games or movies or whatever take place in universes where people have never heard of a zombie before because that seems to be the recurring thing okay so we got more stuff in here we got some bullets do they take up spots though how do we take oh press one pressing y takes all of them um it'd be nice if we found a gun where are we going now what's over here escape mount tanner is fucked it's time to leave so this game has bad language in it watch out kitties Alright, well, let's just do some exploring for the time being. Um, I don't plan to play this too long. Probably going to cut it off at about 15 minutes. And uh, so let's see what this game has to offer other than just the main missions. So combat doesn't seem to be difficult. Just keep mashing X, basically. I wonder how guns are going to play out. Actually, I saw a little video of it. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto as well. So I think this game borrowed heavily off of Grand Theft Auto. What we got in here? But one of these things are gonna pop alive. Come on. What happened? You see me? You see Colton or Strand? A little busy for that, don't you think? Here, zombie. Oh, there it is. It's clipping through the. Come on, search, man! Faster, faster! Did you find nothing, or did I just activate into care? Into uh, combat mode. Okay, so I guess this is a if a zombie comes near you while you're searching something inter interrupts it. Uh, snack, which is the stamina restoring <laughs> item in this game, I assume. So the map does pinpoint enemies on your mini map, those little red dots, which is nice. I didn't even notice. Is there like a um? I was just about to ask that. Is there a level system? And in the bottom right, it just says I increased my fighting skill level. Cool, cool. I really wanted this to be like an RPG type too, and it is, it looks like. So that's that's cool as well. Now the only thing that kind of sucks about 360 games like this is that they, they don't usually tend to be really long. So although this looks really cool, and definitely it could have been released as like a full release, it's probably somewhat short but that's just my experience I don't know it could be the longest game in the world I guess so how do I eat there so RB is your healing button um, this guy runs out of stamina way too damn fast hopefully you can upgrade it as time goes on doesn't look like I can open these what's the word what is this oh can we actually oh so you can actually control these characters if you switch that's cool, I guess, if they run out of stamina or whatever. We open this trash can. No. Um. I wonder if these people have different statistics, like if certain people run faster than other people. Is there just like nothing in here that we can use or check? Is this just like a slender type building? I guess so. Okay. We can do nice. emotes. <laughs> I don't know what the point of that is. Um, let's take out these zombies. Whoa, what has she got? An axe? Wow, we yeah, should have switched to her way faster. That's way better than a fucking stick, isn't it? Um, Alright, guys. That's going to do it for State of Decay so far. I want to play State of Decay. Like I said, this is feedback based, so if you guys want to see more, you know what to do. Leave some comments, or maybe don't leave some comments and like the video just so I know that uh, you guys want to see more. This looks like a, a pretty cool game. Um, maybe some of you that never heard about it might want to check it out. Anyways, my name is Grovana. This has been Vana Plays, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.